Now this rocks. Lenny Kravitz made a surprise appearance on the Drew Barrymore show to honor someone special. The TK421 singer took the talk show stage Tuesday after his daughter, Zoe Kravitz, concluded her interview with host Drew Barrymore in support of her directorial debut Blink Twice. That was the most beautiful interview I've ever seen, ever. Lenny gushed as he pulled Barrymore into a hug. Oh my God, it was so beautiful. Barrymore noted that she was equally moved by Zoe's work, saying, I'm a forever changed person because of what your daughter put into the world. In fact, Blink Twice in theaters now had such a profound effect on Barrymore that she's planning to get a snake tattoo to commemorate it. The snake bite in the movie is a very important story detail, she said, and I got bit and I'm forever awake. The psychological thriller, which Zoe wrote and directed, follows friends Frida, Naomi Aki, and Jess, Alia Shokat, as they arrive on a private island owned by a formerly canceled billionaire tech guy, Slater King Channing Tatum. During their stay, Frida discovers that the men on the island are sexually assaulting the women every night and using an amnesia-inducing perfume to make them forget. Earlier in the episode, Barrymore explained that she felt a very personal connection to the film. Part of my journey was that I was looking to find the trauma inside of me, and what is it about, she said. A big part of it was I used to be a blackout drinker, and so watching this film was an extraordinary journey for me to forgive myself for that, because I put myself in situations I shouldn't have put myself in, and I felt so much shame about that. And I haven't had a drink in five years. Barrymore added that Blink Twice is not only a film about the things that can happen to us, but it made me think about the things we've done to ourselves. When she later asked Lenny what the film meant to him, the musician felt the same way. You verbalized it in a way that I can relate to because to see people understand it and to articulate it and how deep it really is, it's, it's incredible because that's how I feel about it. He said, if it wasn't my daughter, I would still feel exactly the same. And the fact that it is my daughter just makes it that much more of a blessing. Standing with the father-daughter duo, Barrymore also praised Zoe and the men she surrounds herself with, including her fiancé and leading man, Tatum. I think, as a woman, I believe in following your wisdoms because you surround yourself with such good men, she said. We, as women, need to do that, and men need to empower women, but we've got to love each other and bring each other on the journey. There's no giving up on each other. Barrymore added, Your film just made me go. Yep, that's it. We do not give up. We work together.